there are two types of planning in VB. Okay. So here first is going to be your VB is going to be a manual reorder point planning. So we calculate this 220. And first of all, calculation of this reorder point is not your job as a consultant, but you should know the logic. For that, you can refer this kind of different formulas. Okay, reorder point formula with safety stock. Okay, average lead time in a day into average daily usage plus safety stock. Okay, so what is daily usage is 20. Okay, lead time is two days, two into 20, 40, and plus your two days. So that way also you can calculate. Okay, your safety stock. Uh, plus this is you can call, calculate your reorder point. Okay, so this calculation can be done uh, by your uh, end user or you can say business people. So this is not this is not your job, okay. But you should know where to maintain this value and how to maintain. It. Okay. Now this is called as a manual reorder point plan. Now there is another option. It's called as a reorder point planning that is automatic VM. Okay. Automatic reorder point planning. So what is automatic reorder point planning? So automatic reorder point. Okay. So if I select V, sorry, VA, that is automatic VM, automatic reorder point planning. Okay. So in that automatic reorder point planning, system is going to calculate the safety stock and your uh, reorder point. Okay. And for that purpose, what you have to maintain, you have to have, we don't have forecasting. Yes, sir. period so if now 60 months forecast period 12 months okay so something like that. This be, okay. now here you can go to additional data and in additional data you should update your consumption okay so what we are talking over here in last one year how we are in july so in last one year how was how much quantity you are consumed okay so what we are saying our quantity is here what we are saying, our quantity is going to be a 280 kg and something like that. Okay. So what was your consumption? I will say uh, previous month we have consumed, suppose 260 and next month. Okay. This is for whole month. Okay. The whole month is quantity is going to be more. Okay. We are talking about here one week only five days, almost one week. Okay. So it is going to be a okay. 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 140 okay so 1400 okay approximately yeah? 1300 so this is going to be your consumption quantity how much consumption you do in this month different months okay so based on that system is going to define okay what is your consumption pattern and based on the consumption pattern system will calculate the inventory for you or reorder point for you are you getting my point, team? Sir. Yes, sir. So you have to update these values, and based on this value, system will do the calculation of this one year inventory. We have to update, and based on this consumption pattern, system will try to calculate okay, what could be your uh, automatic reorder point. Okay, the system will do the calculation. So in automatic reorder point planning, the reorder point and the safety stock are automatically calculated by the system based forecasting. Okay. So how system is going to do forecast? So we have updated the forecasted value, right? Updated and system will do the history of 60 period. Means you can have five months, uh, five 
details of five months, okay, or you can have a period forecast for 12 months, okay, number of forecast periods. So we have given the forecast of 12 months, right? So based on this, system will do the calculation, okay? So period indicator is one, so we have given 12 months forecast, okay? The forecast is updated into our additional data, okay? In additional data, here we have updated our consumption. So based on this consumption system, will understand, calculate this, and system will come to the this fiscal year, so you can see, and they will calculate the how much is your consumption, and based on that, system will calculate the reorder point plan. Okay, so we have to select VM here. The system uses past consumption data, historical data for future requirement. The system uses, and this is mostly used for C class item. Can you see C class item is going over here, going over here. The system use past consumption data for forecast future requirement. The system then uses this forecast value to calculate the reorder level and the safety stop, taking the service level, which is specified in MRP2 view. Okay. So in we are having MRP2, we are having safety stop okay? and the materials replenishment lead time. Okay. So what system is going to consider? What is going to be your in MRP2 view? You are having this lead time and service level okay these are the things they are going to consider okay okay and they will consider plan delivery time these things they are going to take for calculations okay since the forecast is carried out regular interval the reorder level and safety stock level are continuously adapted and current consumption and delivery situation so what is going to happen it is keep on changing these values based on your consumptions, okay? So every time you have different consumption, so for this month, you are having 1,400, next month it is 1,300. So next month, the consumption pattern is going to be changed and because of this, the calculation is going to be changed, okay? So if you increase the service level, then safety stock is also going to be more. The system is going to calculate based on that. So automatic reorder point planning is going to happen, okay? So this is, Majorly, we are having this three type consumption based planning in that reorder point planning is nothing but a manual reorder point planning, and we are going to have automatic reorder point planning. Okay.